Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Kingdom Come Deliverance and uh, we are collecting people who are going to help in Yohanka's trial with the Inquisitor. So we've got Adela in and we've got, uh, what is it, Nicodemus? Yeah, hey, oh, Brother hey, Nicodemus. Alright, um, this might be the custodian over here and honestly I don't know if we actually want to ask him to be a part of this trial at all. Um, we have a save uh, for the start of this episode, so... I'm going to talk to him and see how this conversation goes, and based on the conversation, we may not even ask him f about any of this. I mean, he could really screw us over if he wanted to, but he also may actually, in his own twisted way, care about her and may not want bad things to happen to her, but I don't know. I don't know if I trust this guy. Uh, I'm going to kill him either way. He's a bastard, but... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I found this document in the woods by Sasau. Careful, it's a bit bloody. Don't tell me those fools got themselves. And to hell with it. And did you come across any Cumans? Yes. They're finished. There now. It's not such a fuck up after all. Here's some money for you. It was supposed to be for those idiots, but it seems they asked for a hundred groschen more than they deserved. I know about you and her. She told me everything. Oh? What exactly do you mean? You'd better be very careful what you say, boy. What? I know you're a married man, but you haven't always been entirely faithful to your wife. How dare you! And you had to pick Johanka. I know all about it. And you should know it's finished. Johanka was feeling vulnerable when, when it was all too much for her. That's all. She and Matthias care for each other, so leave them alone. She doesn't want to have anything more to do with you. And she won't. How dare you speak like that to a noble? You, a blacksmith's brat from Scullitz. If you weren't in Lord Kobila's charge, I'd have you whipped for your lies and dragged behind a horse all the way to Ritai. But whoever you might be hiding behind, next time I'll do just that. Now get out! Good luck to you. <laughs> Oh, we can't permanently kill this guy. No! Nothing happened. <laughs> Alright, we might be wanted in a little while once he gets back up. Alright, so we're gonna have to download a mod that'll allow us to murder him for real. So she's in I. So that'll, yeah, she's actually like in the rat house. Okay. B is for when we're done. Yeah. 
God bless. Can I help oh, you? Oh, that is not the guy I'm looking for. Goodbye. Different guy with the stupid hat. Where is he? Is he upstairs in a room? Oh, there he is. Goodman Pavel, you're still here. That's a relief. I was afraid I'd miss you. Yes, yes, still here, but not for long. I had some business to deal with, but now that's out of the way and I'm getting ready to leave. What was it you wanted? You might have heard that Yohanka was arrested by the Inquisitor and is facing trial. Indeed, word has reached me. Poor girl. I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in Yohanka's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? The same thing you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when Johanka was speaking, and so on. True. I'll tell the bishop that. You can rest assured. Thank you very much. Please wait here a few more days for the court to convene, then I'll send for you. All right. For your hanker's sake, I'll wait. Okay. Okay, don't worry, Johanka. I'm coming to save your ass. Even after you dress me down. There's one thing I need to do before we continue this, though. It, it must be done. I don't really have a choice. You could at least... I'd like to make... Uh-huh. I've, uh... Heard you have nice girls here. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. <laughs> God be oh, oh, oh. And Yohanka, you will thank me when I save your ass from prison, okay? Thank you. Oh shit, is everything busted? I need to... I need to get some stuff fixed. have smalls I need the big ones I'd like to discuss well since okay we'll start with these and then what we can't fix which probably if they're that bad is gonna be a lot oh yeah we had a couple of small ones Let's talk about the pr Hmm. Ooh, it's expensive well, repair. That's It is good armor that Finally. we let fall into really bad shape, so. Alright, our weapons should be fine. I don't know if we got everything that needed to be tailored. We did not.
I think the tailor's wife is one of the people that we have to talk to anyway, so let's go to the tailor. Man, I hope the custodian doesn't fuck over this entire thing. We sat down and talked, and in the end, I talked him out of playing dice. Did you? Mother of God, that's wonderful news. How on earth did you do it? <laughs> um, it was not very traditional. I don't know if I want to tell her the, the details. <laughs> that's a matter between us men. Well, I don't much like the sound of that, but if he's really <laughs> quick playing, as you say, all right. Thank you very much, Henry. I'll never forget you for this. Or your honker, either. Yeah, well, about he that. He has got the money for the cloth, hasn't he? Yeah, I gave it back to him yep. so he can buy what he needs. That's wonderful. Thank you, Henry. Okay, you don't repair. Good day. God be with you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Freaking misclicks. I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard. Your hanker was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? The whole of Sasso is talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in your hanker's defense. I can't say I'm keen on going there, but Johanka helped me, and you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah, oh, thanks, Guta. I appreciate it. I'll send for you when it's time. Take care. Okay, thank you. What is this about? Does it really not bother you that your men also go to the quarry to fight? Why oh, should it bother me? Gotcha. You call it fighting, I call it training. Once they start smashing heads with Welcome, sticks or Henry. stabbing each other in the back, then I'll intervene. But until then... And you don't mind that they wager on it? Seems to me that's less of a sin than wagering on dice. I've nothing against one of those fellows earning some extra money if he's good. I might have to hire them to help out in town if there's any more trouble. So you don't plan on doing anything about it? What concern is it of yours? If they start brawling all over town and attacking people, then there'll be cause to take them in. But for now, let them keep fighting. Master Bailiff, Inquisitor Yaroslav is going to try your hunker. I know. He was here asking questions, too. Oh? What did he want to know? Various things, like how things are here, whether people are honest, whether we observe the fest days, and so forth. And then he asked about your hunker, about what she preaches, whether people come to listen to her and that. He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau, too. I even heard that Katra, the swordsmith's wife, invited him to dine with them. That's interesting. Thanks for telling me. Okay, so maybe we need to, yeah, talk to Katra. Was he just asking questions, or does he want you to testify before the court? Yes, he did ask me to testify, and I'm none too happy about it. I see. And what are you going to say about her? It depends what I'm asked, but there's not much I can say. I don't know your hunker very well. She seems virtuous and self-sacrificing to me. She's never done anything wrong, and no one here ever had a cross word to say about her. Until recently. Maybe some gossip about her and Sir Sebastian. But I've heard similar talk about half the women folk here. Your hunker has helped a lot of people here, selflessly. Her heart is in the right place. True. But then there's that preaching of hers. Folk have been falling out. They're split according to whether they believe your hunker or not. I don't know quite what to think of it myself. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. 
I'll wait and see what the learned bishop has to say. Oh, seems like a bad idea to offer him money to speak on her behalf. He might take that really poorly. I don't think I dare do that. Thank you for speaking out. I think that could Master Bailiff. Farewell. That could be used against us if he if he turned us down. Oh. Oh. Where y'all going? Okay, do we think they have a garden here at all? I don't even know if this is where she's at. It seems like this is where she's at. Well, maybe not. Okay, well, she's not up here, which means that there's probably a way to get... Maybe it's like a basement that we have to access from some other place. Okay, any books we haven't read? Mine. Okay, so... Let's go around this way. Ah, here we are. Okay. Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to your hunker. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. Okay. This is a little risky too, I feel like, but... I know. I'm doing it. I was just testing you. And you passed. I'm with the Bishop's entourage, and I'm here at his command. Let me in to talk to your hunker. In that case, you surely know that everyone who comes from the Bishop has to show a document to prove it. Good. Good. Your diligence is commendable. I don't have the document on me at present, though. I left it at the monastery. Sorry, sir. We'll have to go and get it. I can't let you in otherwise. I wouldn't want to anger the Monsignor. Of course. And you can actually read, can you? A little, sir, yes. That's why they put me here. Very wise. 
You're clearly the right man for the job. Very well. <laughs> well done, Henry. I'll be back soon with that paper. Well played. See you later. Okay. So we're gonna have to get one of those papers, which might be in his room. He had like a clerk in that room too. I wonder. Uh, might be tough. Might be tough. Father Fabian. And then we need to talk to Katra. Okay. We have three whole days before we're going to run out of time, though, so... We haven't even finished the first day, so I'm not feeling too pressured at the moment. Father, the Inquisitor has had Yahanka thrown in jail. I know, sir. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What do you think about it, then? As I say, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanka has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Who knows what these dreams are that she speaks of? And her words are only putting ideas in people's heads and leading them astray. Now, instead of going to church, as they should, they go to her in the false belief that they will find solace. It's creating a chasm between the people and the church and leading them away from the true teaching left to us by Christ. They're misguided and swamped in heretical ideas. But Johanka is only saying what the Virgin Mary has told her. What can be wrong with that? And how do you know the Virgin is really talking to her? Well, I believe she's telling the truth. Ah, but you can't be sure, can you? Do you really think a girl from the stable knows God's teaching better than the church? Better than the generations of church fathers and, and learned scholars since the time of Christ, who have studied the sacred scriptures and their correct interpretation? With all the evil that's already going on in this province, the last thing people need is a false prophet. Christ also came from a stable, though. There's no comparison. Christ was the Son of God. Enough of this. Bishop Yaroslav asked me to present my suspicions before the court, and that's what I intend to do. He will then resolve the whole matter. He is, after all, more qualified than anyone to do so. If you say so, Father. Good luck, then. Ungrateful shithead. Alright, well, Father Fabian isn't going to be on our side. It's possible with other dialogue options. Maybe that could have gone better. Maybe we could have got him on our side, but... We're not- we're not save scumming it, so... I'm here about your hunker. You're that fella of hers, are you? What do you want? Uh, no. I'm just a friend of hers. Matthias is her, um, fella. Huh. God knows how many she has. Hey. I heard you invited Bishop Yaroslav to come and dine with you. Yes, so what? Bishop Yaroslav is an esteemed visitor to Sasau. So we can poison him? And it's him. only fitting he should be suitably <laughs> hosted by devout burghers. What have you got against Johanka? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives. Says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Yeah, I'm sure. To a simple village wench. I'd like to know who's really putting those ideas in her head. She's just getting people all worked up. Men, especially. 
coming around here with her nonsense. Sasau is a decent, orderly place. I'll have you know. We don't want any trouble here. All this talk about hellfire and the end of the world. God of mercy. No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Tell me everything you know. I represent the royal hetman, so don't try and keep anything from me. If you must know, some of the fellas went to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here, but would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue. And I'll do just that. That's why they were talking about making Once extra money. She was paying them. Testify in court. And I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. Farewell. Go. God be with you. Go somewhere else so I can poison this. I'm gonna kill your wife in her sleep. <laughs> Cause that'll make the trial go well, huh? Yeah. Well, I still haven't gotten in trouble for, uh, literally stabbing the custodian. <laughs> I find that very funny. I don't regret it. Okay. So, are we gonna try and steal this thing? Hope it'd be in there. There's not one just. It's not that, right? No. Yeah, I might need to try and sneak in here at night. The problem is, is, uh, he probably sleeps in this bed. It's a double. Maybe it's both of them. <laughs> okay, lots of stuff. Lock pick hard. That one's easy. This is a hard. We've also got a lock box on top here. So I'm thinking it's either going to be in this, or in that, but it could be in here too. It could also be on his person, but... Look at this gluttonous bitch. Fuck you, bro. You suck. Okay, so I think we're going to need to wait till night to try any of that. So, let's see, it's this just that second door, the one... That's first after going up the incline. Yeah. Okay, most likely the custodian is not going to do a testimony on behalf of her, that. but maybe he will. Maybe we should try talking to him again if he's awake. Hey, we good, bro? Wait, where's he at? Good health to you. What happened to your clothes? I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Sure I know. It'll turn out just fine, trust me. But I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. 
You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before oh, the court. He oh, he knows. All right. The bishop knows. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh? How's that? Flee. With your Honka, of course. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure your Hanka will be acquitted by the court and everything will be all right. Running would just confirm the Inquisitor's suspicions, and she'd always be looking over her shoulder. I don't agree. As I said, I don't believe you can affect the outcome of the court. If your Hanka flees, yes, she'll have to lie low for a while, but in time it will all blow over. You can take her anywhere, as long as it's far enough from here. I mean, there's a, a he might like be right. Will always find her feet. She can easily hide out somewhere where she's not known. Maybe there could even be a place for her on my estate. No. Nope. Think about it. But whatever you decide, if Yohanka comes to any harm, you'll have me to answer to. I'm very fond of her. And her of me. Not that one. And I don't want anything to happen to her. It's Understand? Not, not that second but one, bro. If everything ends well, I'll show you my gratitude, I assure you. Farewell. God, I need to put this guy in his place. This guy sucks. I wish I had a bed here. Alright. Perhaps we'll just use another Savior Schnapps. Can't get any saves from any beds that aren't ours. Go a little slower, why don't you? Damn, am I auto-opening hards now? Inquisitor's retinue paper, that's what I need, right? Okay. I believe that was it. I just autoed a hard, but I have to do a, an easy manually.
Yeah, this guy sucks. Taking a bunch of his shit. Okay, so we got the papers we needed. Now I think we're gonna go the route, like, we're not doing this whole she runs away and then lives on the freaking custodian's estate. That's not happening. But, if we can convince her to, like, maybe speak a little bit more with humility, that may help us as well. God, the idea of handing her over to the freaking custodian makes me sick. Yeah. Yeah. What am I do? Is this a certain for how long? Just the one. God be with you. Okay, I think at this point in our playthrough, we're kind of done with the tourney. God, I hate that sound. Yeah. Look at my two buffs down there. Don't those two contradict each other? <laughs> Alright, dude. Here's a document. See? Show me that. That's fine. Thank you, sir. Take care. Okay. Your hunker. Are you alright? Yes, Henry. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. He wants to put you on trial. I know. It's all in God's hands now. No, it's not. I mean, it is, of course. But the bishop has allowed me to defend you. You want to defend me? Thank you. Henry, that's very kind of you. But you needn't bother. Our lady won't let anything bad happen to me. Oh, I am girl. her instrument. And I am completely in her hands. Everything that's happening... Is her sacred she has no will. idea how many women have been burned at the stake for just folded. bullshit, you know? You need someone to testify for you. As I said, I will defend you. History you is insist, not on her side. Maybe it's the will of the Virgin that you came to me. So be it then. I went to Ujits, like you asked. That's good, Henry. I hope you purged yourself of your sins. Men I did the stacked a couple penance, on top. Like you said. And in the church, I begged the Virgin Mary for forgiveness. And she will bless you, Henry. You're a good man. Remember that. And don't stray into wrongdoing again. Oh, I won't. whoops. I made a donation to the church, too. <laughs> and the parish priest there, Father Godwin, he was asking about you. Was he? Well, what did you tell him? 
Oh, just about everything that's going on and the things you were saying. He was quite moved by it, to tell the truth. He even gave me some writings. You see? Maybe Our Lady is giving you a sign, too. I wonder if I'm supposed to use what was in the book as, like, my arguments. I'm gonna have to read it one more time before we start the trial, just to make sure that if those pop up as uh, options, I can sort of take things from it. What did Bishop Yaroslav ask you about? All sorts of things. Like how the Virgin Mary visits me, what she shows me, and about preaching to the people. Actually, he was really quite pleasant. He asked me about scallets, whether I go to church, and a lot of other things. And in the end, he told me I mustn't speak in public again about the visitations and that. But I couldn't obey an order like that. The Blessed Virgin is testing me, and I have to do what she asks, no matter who or what stands in the way. I'd say he wasn't too happy about that. No. He came there with his men, dispersed the people, and had me arrested and locked up here. About that trial? Yes, the trial. I'll get some people who will testify for you in court. But Brother Nicodemus is worried you'll say things that will make the Inquisitor angry. Please don't do that. You have to talk to him respectfully, answer his questions with humility, and not say anything to annoy him. And don't say anything against the church or priests. Please. I'll say only what the Blessed Virgin wants me to say. Girl, right now is not the time. Johanka, please. You mustn't say anything against him or the church. Be contrite. Maybe even admit you might have been wrong about some things. I don't think the Inquisitor is so bad. If you submit to him, he'll drop the charges. You too now. You're speaking exactly the same as his assistant. The two of you joined forces against me, did you? I've nothing to do with him. I didn't even know he was here. Believe me, I'm really trying to help you. You don't believe me anymore, do you? I do, Johanka, I believe you. But in court, you must speak reasonably, prudently. A lot depends on it. Maybe even your life. I appreciate your concern for me, Henry, really, I do. But you must understand. I can't deny that the Virgin Mary visits me, or what she wants to tell us. Not now. After everything that's happened, I can't. Otherwise, she won't heal Matthias. But you have to consider yourself and what's good for you. Surely you don't want to be convicted of heresy. That won't do anyone any good, neither you nor Matthias. I've already told you. Everything is in the hands of the oh, Blessed Oh, she's so Virgin. stubborn. I will accept with humility the fate she grants me. A sacra. This is going to be a right mess. Damn. Well, that's not good. Honestly, here's the thing, is like... If we're talking about just the realistic thing that would happen in this time, in this era, with this church... The thing is, is that she might be marked a heretic. No matter what we do here, the only good option for her may actually be to flee. But I can't force her into that, so... If this ends with her failing, just because... I don't know, the church sucks, <laughs> and it hates women in power. That's going to really, really, really bite. All right, well, it is what it is. That's how she feels. We can't force her to do it differently. Damn, man. This quest has gotten crazy. Yeah. Alright, so let's go and talk to Nicodemus about this. The fact that we couldn't convince her. And then I think we're just about done. And we're just gonna have to do our best. Yeah. 
There is nothing else, right? Now we just need to go and talk to yeah. Nicodemus again. spoke to Yahanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Oh dear, Henry. That's not good at all. What about her family? Doesn't she have a relative she might listen to? No. None of them survived the raid on Scalitz. She has no one at all left in the world? Matthias. Poor child. Is is I mean Matthias is supposedly getting better, so what actually happened here? Your hanker told me you went to Ujits? Yeah. What's that got to do with anything? The Inquisitor showed up here not long after you left. Apparently he heard about Johanka's preaching somehow. He even observed one of her sermons outside the town in disguise. He had her brought to him and spent a long time trying to discourage her from what she was doing. But then she went out again to preach about her visions outside of town. But before she even started, the Inquisitor turned up with Fabian and the guards. He said Johanka had ignored his outright ban and he had her taken away. Then he warned the people there that Johanka was spreading heresy and undermining the church's authority, and forbade them to listen to her. It sounds pretty serious. It is. I'm afraid it could be very serious indeed. What exactly does an Inquisitor do? The Inquisition is a papal institution Quiet. that deals with heresy. So people don't succumb to charlatans, false prophets and deceptions, and put their faith and their immortal souls in jeopardy. The Inquisitors have all sorts of powers. The kind we here can do very little to stand up to. And what can he do to Yohanka? I'm not entirely sure. These legal issues are very complicated, but he could certainly excommunicate her and maybe even sentence her to death. Yohanka? I don't... I hope that he wouldn't go that far. Like, she hasn't done something so bad that it deserves that. I think it would crush her if she got excommunicated. It would really hurt her. But she'd be alive. Who is this Bishop Yaroslav? I've never heard of him before, but the prior has. He said he's very well learned and the Bishop of Sarepta. Sarepta? Where's that? Moravia? Quiet. No, it's far, far away, near the Holy Land. He got the title from the Holy Father himself. Water. Please. Titular Bishop? Like he's not a real one? It's... Let's say an honorary title. It refers to a diocese that no longer exists. And since a titular bishop has no diocese to oversee, he can devote himself to handling other very important church affairs, like ordaining other prelates, for example, to maintain succession through the centuries down from the time of Christ and his apostles. I can't. And this bishop came can't. all the way here from Sar... whatever. Sir Repta. But I doubt he's ever been there. It used to be a bishopric in the days of the Apostolic Fathers in Phoenicia, near Israel. But it was ransacked by the Muslims. Now it's just a titular bishopric. And Yaroslav is the titular bishop. Do you believe Yahanka is really being visited by the Virgin Mary? Well, yes, Henry, I do. The things she says and the way she speaks. She doesn't sound like herself at all. I know she can't read, so where else could she have got it? Frankly, I can't think of any other explanation within the bounds of this world. Good luck, then. All right. Okay.
Okay. Let's read this again. Give their treasures and riches women according to the word. God choose that which is weak to cast shame upon that which is strong. God chose that which is weak to cast shame upon that which is strong. For men, when they excel at something, are excessively vainglorious, giving credit only to their own actions and forgetting our Lord. Therefore, wives, virgins, and widows are elevated in our times, succumbing to discipline, living the most noble lives, and venerating the heavenly kingdom before men who are occupied only with the vanities of this world. Therefore, women fill the churches, spend their time in prayer, listening to sermons, reject entertainments, vanities, yep, think constantly of the concerns of our Lord. In divine mercy and manifest visions and prophecies, women, I say, are 100 times more gifted than any man and perhaps even priests. Gift of prophecy and intimacy with the Holy Spirit is often bequeathed now to women. To them are revealed the great mysteries of God. Okay, and this is by Matthew of Janow. All right. I wonder if we can use that book somehow. Okay. This seems like a very, very important moment, so having a save here might be a good idea. I'll defend her in a duel. I'm ready, Monsignor. Excellent. I have also completed my investigation. We may commence then with the proceedings. Yes. Let's try it. Good. I will send for everyone who is to bear witness and have Johanka brought before the court. We'll commence first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. One more thing. These are solemn proceedings that demand a certain decorum. I won't tolerate any clanking armor or otherwise inappropriate attire. You will wear this robe. Of course. Thank you, Monsignor. Very well. Rest now. And we'll meet in the morning. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters Darren York, ZTD, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, Pedo Kuta, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, Emily Kuzanova, Philip Dalton, Timothy Jansen, Skip, Naya, Turkeyfoot27, Bean Curry, Nathan McComb, DWJ Media, Craig E. Christian, Black Ren, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.